insects represent the history of climate and habitats in California. We can take a stab at looking at that history over time and space across the entire state. Scientists are unlocking clues about our past, present, and future using insects, and they want our help. Cowbug is a collaboration of the eight major insect collections in California to digitize, that is to capture the information on the specimen labels into a database. If you look across the millions, billions of specimens worldwide in collections such as this, that information is unavailable. So there's no way to find when were these insects first collected in California? How has their distribution changed over time? These kinds of bits of information are really valuable, but they're completely hidden. To undertake a project like digitizing one million specimens, we started calculating how many people would we need, how long would that take, and we estimated with our current staff and funding probably around a century. And that wasn't too appealing. So why not crowdsource the digitizing? But why would anyone want to look at pictures of insects and labels over and over again? It's kind of fun. It's a little detective work to figure out where did this person travel, where did they collect, and how certain are we about that? There's also kind of immediate satisfaction of contributing data to an ongoing research project. It's a really important contribution. But then when you're doing it, you also tap into a community of people that are doing just the same as you and you have the opportunity to talk about this guy is really amazing at collecting. Who is this guy? And this bug has got to be the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And the work is vital to understanding how our world is changing. We expect that being able to look at the distribution of insects will give us a very fine-grained and high-resolution kind of data, and we'll be able to find insects that are very sensitive or specific to certain kinds of disturbance, and we'll be able to use those to make more accurate and higher-resolution predictions of the future. You can get signatures of the kind of environment that these bugs lived in 50 years ago, 100 years ago, and compare that to now. What we proposed in the very beginning was to look at change over time in California. We can look at changes in water use and how some of the aquatic insects have responded. We can look at changes in pollinators over time as forests have been turned into fields and then into housing developments. But we can look at whole communities now, and that's pretty exciting actually.